Hi guys, we are here for the October um, edition of Explorations of Me. So this month is going to be less about art and more about talking. And we're not looking at my face today because I do want to show a couple of things here on the table specifically. Um, so this month our topic is what do you um, do when you need alone time? I don't think that's how she phrased it exactly. Hang on. What do you do when you need me time? Do you do anything special? And you do, do you like being alone at times? That's how she phrased it. That sounds a little better. Um, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> um, so um, there's a great example of... Um, I was at an art retreat with my friends last year, and most of them know this. I went to the airport um, earlier than my flight. Um, not that I don't love them at all. It just was a lot of people -y peopleness for a week, and I just needed some time um, to myself with my headphones in and my iPad and my, my notebook. Um, I had one of these with me where I could just sort of chill and decompress, uh, decompression time. I really do need that. And um, when I need to retreat, I retreat here to my art space. I work in my journal. Here's my page from last month. And this journal, um, sometimes I will just put um, stuff in the journal in a random fashion because I need to use stuff up at the table. Um, and I just use up extra paint and whatnot. Um, other times I'll do a page. It just depends. Sometimes I work on, I, I do my paper clips or tags, um, but I need that time to myself. If times are really stressful and I'm really kind of really on overload, then I will sit and just read. And I've been known to lose myself in a book and read, the, literally read the day away. Um, that's happened. And I know you all do that. I know it's not just me. Um, I do find that more often than not, especially during times of stress um, and anxiety, that my small black notebook, which is the actual one, is downstairs that I'm working at, at the moment. This is a blank one, um, is invaluable. So I have these small B6 size um, notebooks. They have 60 ruled sheets in them. These are from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. They're a dollar fifty each. So when I go to Daiso to Cal when I'm in California, I try to pick up a, a handful of these. And if I have a friend, like my friend Vicki in Texas, if she's going to Daiso where she is, I ask her, can you get me some of those little notebooks? Um, and I just always have a whole bunch of them around because I do go through them. So I always have one of these around and a big crystal pen. Why, you ask? I'll tell you why. Um, and then I'll show you what my thoughts are on that. Um, so I will just crack open the book, start with the first blank page, and I will just write what's on my mind, good or bad, ugly or pretty, um, swear words, however it's coming out of my mind, it goes on the paper. Whatever my thoughts are about it, someday my great-grandchildren are going to read it and go, God, great-grandma is kind of nuts. Ugh. Anyway, uh, there's no care and consideration for spelling or punctuation. It's literally just one giant run-on sentence for three pages. So one, two, three. I do date them, and then I'll start the next page. One, two, and then three. Um, I call it daily pages. It's my version of daily pages. So every morning or every evening, writing it all out, getting it out of my brain and onto the paper, so that I can go forward in a more positive light and less stressed out um, than I was before I started. It really does help. It really does bring things up because you're literally just writing what's on your mind. And at some point you're like, holy crap, you've written something and that you're like, really? I really felt that way about that situation? I didn't even realize that I did. Believe me, I know that sounds like a bunch of hooey, but it's not, it really does happen. Um, I find it very cathartic. I find it very peaceful, and even when my husband is in the room when I'm doing it, I'll put my earbuds in, 
and I'll turn some music on and I'll just do my daily pages. It's my version of alone time. Yes, I need it. Yes, I need it often. And this, if nothing else, is one of my ways of doing that. I know you all thought I was gonna say painting or art, some kind of, I do do art on a very regular basis, but when I truly am stressed and I really need that alone time, daily pages. And then when I'm done with the daily pages, then I'll go read a book and I'll really decompress and get lost in someone else's story. Then by the time I'm done with that, then I am ready to move on with my day, my life and do something else. Um, but if things are really stressed out, I really need my daily pages and getting lost in someone else's story, which is why I think I like reading, uh, really does also help too. Um, my thoughts behind this image are, it's just a little plain black notebook and there's nothing wrong with that. Use the one that works for you. This particular small size really works for me because it's easy for me to take with me when I'm traveling. It's not too thick also for me to like be working in this one book for like forever. Um, I can get it filled up pretty quickly and then move to the next one. But if you don't like the plain black cover, and I do think it comes in a couple of other colors, you could take a calm, soothing image like this one is out of a magazine of these balloons and you could adhere it to the cover um, with some glue and then cut like cover the whole thing with packing tape to really make it really sturdy that would be really cute um, so you definitely could do that it's kind of like a vinyl material it says leather type it's it's vinyl plastic um, so you might have to like scratch it up a little bit or um, you rough it up a little bit to get this to stick but I think that would be really cute you could also probably paint it um, I like the plain black notebook nobody really knows what it is and honestly it kind of stands out in my drawing bag downstairs and also if I'm taking it with me because everything <laughs> that I travel with tends to look like this and be kind of colorful and so then you see this and you're like oh what's that um, so it's kind of sticks out it's easy to find so yeah daily pages I do recommend them I do um, recommend you at least give it a shot it may not be for you Whatever works for you to get your alone time and your one-on-one -on -one time that you need to do to be alone with yourself and your thoughts, to reset yourself and re-energize yourself for the rest of life, you need to do that. Male or female, artistic or not, it doesn't matter. My husband sometimes goes in his office and he just goes in and he's in there on the computer, he's reading Reddit, he's you know, watching whatever car thing, he's doing his me alone time. Sometimes he goes out and he just goes out and he's outside and for hours gardening. We don't even have that big a garden. That's his way of alone time. He needs that. You don't need to be under each other's foot all the time and you don't need to be driving everybody else around you crazy all the time. You need to reset yourself and the people around you need to understand that you need to do that. And if they are true friends and family if they really love you and care about you they will understand you know why because they need it too so that's my thoughts on today's prompt think about trying to do daily pages get yourself a little notebook and a pen it doesn't have to be fancy this certainly isn't this whole thing together i mean these are what 10 for like a dollar 50 right now because it's back to school um and this one's almost empty um and this notebook is a dollar 50 so less than two bucks um, and you can just start trying daily pages. And if you're gonna just try it and you're new at it, get a thin notebook, don't get a fat one. Cause if you just don't like looking, don't like doing it and it doesn't serve you, then you, don't, you haven't wasted a lot of money and you don't have a huge giant notebook. You feel like you have to fill up. All right. And you also don't have to save them. Don't be like me, you don't have to save them. Um, my, a couple of friends of mine who I know do daily pages, they do them, they fill up the book and then they burn it. So there you go. Uh, you could shred it in a paper shredder too. So that's it. Daily pages. I do recommend it. It's my version of alone time besides art. Um, so that's it for today. I'm going to link everybody else's um, videos in the description below. Let's see what they come up with and what they do and what they want to talk to you about. I think they all have some great ideas. Um, if you uh, want to support um, the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook groups, um, um, art Facebook groups, or just follow me on social media and see what I get up to in the way of art and one of my daily practices. Um, you can do that by clicking on the link tree list of links in the description below. Besides all the videos from the other Explorations of Me participants, go show the, everybody some loves, like, like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing is go out and do something nice for yourself because you do deserve it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.